And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Yeah, that's right. You got to do them just like that. Thank you, Jacob. It is the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. We are live on a, let's call it Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. It's a, wor- it's a holiday week for us. It means one show. I'm a, yeah. I'm Big J Okerson. That's Dan Soder. Hi. Hi. Dan Soder. Uh, that man over there in the corner, you hear is Dan Soder. I was um I was in Poughkeepsie this weekend. A lot of campers came out to the show. I had a great time at Laugh It Up in Poughkeepsie with I'm never soon. Like, yeah, like two, two weeks. weeks or so, yeah. Cal and Dan fucking run a really good room. Yeah. I had a great time. I called into the morning show on I think Friday. You could tell what 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 like a comic who's been doing it for a while though, like you're like your positives of a club, you said to me every time you describe what a great show it was and how cool those guys are, you also use the words they police the room well. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> That's what he keeps saying. He goes, they police the room real good. I'm a security you constantly comic. want you, you constantly want people sweeping the room for problems. I in come the front. in there. I got a I got a whole I got a whole setup. I'm gonna have to go through schematics with you. <laughs> I want you coming in here. I want your eyes down the barrel. Of, yeah, they just run a great room. Yeah, it's bad for me because. As we know, historically, I'm the guy who brings riffraff. The <laughs> I always bring a You're problem. You're the Pied Piper of I told, fucking the, I told the Brian Regan story. I told, yeah? the, uh, I told the story with uh, Denver. This weekend, at Dave's thing, real quick, I know you were talking about Kipsy, but I'm just going yeah, to... No. It's such a follow-up to the thing. Well, I was at the show. I was at the Creek in the Cave. You were at the show. I go outside uh, to smoke a cigarette when Dave first goes on. Okay. And uh, this couple's outside, this like short muscle dude and a tall... Like cute chick, okay, but like that's just, that's just in my head immediately. I think swingers couple. It looks <laughs> yeah, like one of those. It does look like a swingers. Where the couple. guy's like, she's gonna wear thigh high boots, and I'm just gonna sit in the corner doing push ups and say weird things like when the, like she's getting fucked, like baby, you like that? Yeah, you like sucking on that guy's dick? <laughs> He's gonna do the, yeah. <laughs> that's the black hole sun videos. I keep just thinking of that. Some dude just doing push ups. I gotta say, for every weird uh, sexual situation me and Christine have ever been in, I've never. That is just not my personality. Like the fucking the cheerleader? sexy dude. No, just like the sexual like swinger dude. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you like licking that, huh? Yeah. Mommy like that when that happens? Do they Mama su- bear like it? Do they support their kids' sports teams the same way? Yeah. And they're like, You're, yeah. 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 Move the ball, guys. Uh-huh. You really get in there, huh? Uh-huh. She's good, huh? Yeah, sir, you're watching a Baby child, like that? You're, you're watching like, a child soccer dude, game. swinger talk is fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> swinger uh, talk is so it? fucking hilarious. I think the news would be a lot more palpable. But this, is that a word? <laughs> palpable. 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 Wait, I talk fast. Sometimes. What? What do you? What's your? Use it in the sentence again. I said, would that be more? It would. It would. Would it make the news more pal, palpable? Palatable. 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 Able to be. Uh, <sighs> it's been a long day. On your palate. Yeah. It hasn't been that long yet. I think it has been pretty long. Swinger couples outside. They're making out hot and heavy. The girl separates from that and starts a drunken thing with me about how she's. Been at the creek in the cave since it began, and whatever. She's almost make. I, I thought she was gonna start making up stories like she's the Rebecca Trent, <laughs> who's the owner of the club. Yeah. But she's talking about I was here before it was comedy and blah. blah but look how far it's come, and it's so great. She goes, "What's going on up there tonight?" No. I go, "My buddy is uh, doing an hour special in a couple days, and he's just kind of running a practice run through here." She goes, "Oh, I want to see." She goes, "Can you get us in?" And I went, "No, I know, I know my thing." I go, "No." I'm not, I can't get you in. I don't know. And they go, what's it cost to go in? I go, I, I don't know, but I can't get you in. And I go, I'll find out what it costs for you. I was like, but I, I like, I'm not. So you immediately know they shouldn't be in there. Probably, yeah. But it's just probably, because now it makes me think that you weren't saying it like because that. Because like, you, you haven't had some people before where you're like, this person's going to be a problem, and they end up being fine. They just like really yeah. enjoy the show. They're just like a weird or like overly then excitable person. But more often than not, when the spider Fair senses enough. tingle, you're like, I did. It was tingling. But like a dumbass, I go in and find out the actual price for them. Like That's an idiot. great. I come out, I go, yeah, it's $7, guys. I can't get you in. It's $7. They go... Oh, that's okay. She's like, we'll go. We'll go we in. do very well for ourselves. She goes, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go in. So I'm like, oh, doing jokes. He's trying to get to his jokes now, and she yells out something again. And I go, I go, hey, hey, I go, stop, stop. I, t- I told you when they walked in. Like when they walked in the showroom, I was like, hey guys, just remember it's a comedy show, so you got to be quiet. And they were like, oh, you know, the fingers in front of the mouth, like, which mm, sure is totally. a dead giveaway that they're going to be a problem. But they weren't. Ninety-five percent, ninety-five percent of the way through. That's not. So then she says to me, "I go, uh, I go, I go. Hey, don't yell out. He's doing us. He's doing stuff." 
And she goes, she goes, I'm sorry. And I go, I go, okay, that's fine. But just like, stop talking. And she goes, okay, I'm really sorry. I go, I get it, but stop. Seriously, please stop talking. She goes, I'm really sorry. I go, but I do like the, I do like the zipper steel mouth yeah. thing. I'm like, and she goes, I'm really sorry. And then I just had to leave the room. Like I had to miss the last five minutes. I was like, I'm drawing the problem. Yeah. You're, no, man. You had to pull them out. That like, I don't second... know what the fuck. Like, I, I was like, she, I mean, there's a person she was talking to. So I removed myself and I don't think anything else happened with it. But like, Holy shit, I'm just a magnet to like, well, Trump, sure. I mean, the Denver ones, the people got removed by the police. <laughs> but with drunk people, you bring them in, it is. It's like the second you make eye contact with them and start talking to them, they're going to go with you. They're going to follow you. So you can't can't bring them in at all. She just showed them to be like, ah, it's sold he out. He didn't know, Dan. You he didn't check. He didn't know. I know. That's the problem with drunk people. You fucking... You bring them in, and they can really tear shit up. Sometimes you can smell it, but I don't know if uh, Dave would have smelled it because he was doing straight-up material. Yeah. He's doing a special, you know. and taping uh, it this Thursday. Yeah. It's Try it so theater. great. Sold out, both shows. That's um, awesome. At Comic Dave Smith. Yes. Twitter. It's going to be absolutely great. Uh, I hope uh, people out there listening are going. I worked with our good buddy Justin Silver at Laugh It Up. Who which kips? Was a lot of fun. Uh, we drove up. He got us a car, drove back. And uh, then I found out that not only is he the beast master, he's also the beat master. What? Well, you know Justin can play the drums. No. Well, he's he's air, he air drums. He hasn't told I swear he says he I don't know. Play. Justin had an electric drum kit to send him, so have I. But yeah. I can't play drums. Okay. I had an electric drum kit. Well, Justin, Justin likes to air drum along with the music. Oh. And so we... Uh, he has such little guy shit. <laughs> no, but he comes from, it comes from a... We were, you know, we were just two buddies in a car. I, I didn't really mind it. I know but, you don't mind it, but it's still fucking... It. <laughs> yeah. He's showing you... But I love Jack to the that point that... he can that air drum. I know. So can I. By the way, air I, drum... I, dude, air drums, I can do Moby Dick. Dick, fucking, Play Moby Dick. I mean, I note for see, note. I want to see Jay Eric from Moby Dick. I do steering wheel guitar. I'm a, I'm a, I can fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know it's visual. I know, I know this is purely visual, but uh, at the bonfire SX, I'm on Twitter. Yeah, but you gotta get into it. <laughs> I will say, Che is doing an excellent job of keeping up with Moby Dick. I might be wrong about this. I think you can air drum. Okay, the faces. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Che can drum at the bonfire. I know I cannot drum, but didn't look that good, probably. <laughs> By the way, you didn't even know this. Both my feet working. I'm fucking oh. high hat. And I'm high hat and end face. In the jean shorts, destroying both. So, oh, you see me stop the, you see me stop Sybil? <laughs> Jacob just threw up. Jacob threw up. Uh, turns out Jay can fucking bang. You're the John Bonham of air drums. <laughs> that was impressive. Thank you. Justin wasn't that impressive. The, the, by the way, what I just did on drums wouldn't <laughs> sound at all like Jason Bonham playing Moby Dick. I promise you. All right, so Justin, uh, so we're listening to Tool, and Justin's talking about the drums, where he's like, you know, it's a, you know, it's a complicated setup, the way it goes. It's like, oh my Danny Fuck. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, Danny Carey. Yeah, and I'm listening, and I'm like trying to. I'm not really acknowledging what Justin's saying. I'm driving, and I'm also, like, trying to sing along with the song to be like, hey, look, I'm enjoying the song. And Justin's like, yeah, no, no, no. I think it goes like four, six, four, six, four, six. And then he Googles it on his phone. The drum part? Yeah. The he doesn't read drum music. The drum. I, we should call him. We should have him on the phone because I want to talk to him about it, see if he's around. We'll have him call in, but he was he was reading me the drum time. Rat tat tat tat. <laughs> no, Rat -tat. No, no. Hang on. <laughs> Let me work on my paradiddles before I read this. Dude, I'm Jay, going through my rudimentaries. Jay, not even that. He was just going like four. That's four, three, three. He was counting it off. He doesn't know how to read music. <laughs> I'm telling you. That. He does not know how to read drum music. I promise you that. The, the Beastmaster. He's going to tell you all the things I know. The X's are the cymbal shots. Did you talk some, Christine? Yeah. Okay. That's, so I drove home with that, and I was like, I cannot wait to tell him. I had to tell him stop. I was like, dude, you're fucking ruining the song. Stop air drumming. Not even air drumming. I'm fine with air drumming. Counting counting the drums. Going like four, three, three, hey, five. Hey, it's, it's ba -da 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 -da. No, not that. Ba -da, I would appreciate that. 
Ta 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 ta. I'm loving Jay, it. Jay, he was saying numbers. Huh? He was going like four, three, three, four. Why? He's got nowhere to, and he's not going to go do anything with that information. He goes, God, I got Hey, man, I, can you drive a little faster? I can't get to a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. I know what it is. I've unlocked it. Ah, it's a hit. The perfect three, dog. Four, three, four, six, four. <laughs> the perfect dog beat. <laughs> I will gather all the dogs in town with this beat. I will. March it's a summons. Together. It's a seance. I will be the dog god. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was one of those. By the way, two campers A came guy up. genuinely doing a full song of air drum is trying to big dick you. I was driving. We had this conversation before. Justin, oh, I've said it before. Justin tries to big dick. And he get, he'll, he'll get upset if you say that because he doesn't know what he's doing, but that's just like an inherent thing. You know? Yeah, I didn't, it didn't take it we as malicious. We all big dick a little bit, but if I'm saying you'd see yeah, that's Justin's big dick. That's it. Not malicious. It's not malicious. You're saying air drumming is? It's not malicious. I'm that, saying it's That's big his peacocking. Dick. Yeah. That's how he peacocks his he's air drumming. He's trying because, by the way, he's no, Justin how do I peacock? will be no better than me at playing Moby Dick. Uh, it sounds like this is we're setting ourselves up for a nice air drum challenge. Oh, dude. And we're doing it on, dude. I'll tell you what. Let me tell you why I'll beat Justin in that. I've watched Justin do the thing. I've watched him play. He plays, you know, he can play beats on drums. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. as much as I can. All right. Valueless, almost, unless you're going to be in, like, a cover band that plays, like, an assortment of, like, 20 songs. <laughs> you can keep that. Doo -doo -ki -ki -boo -boo -boo. All right. Um, I think, uh, I mean, I'm very impressed but with here's your, the, but Justin, your Justin's skills. like, your air drumming skills. Justin's not a, uh, he doesn't strike me as like a sports grace guy. He's in great shape. Mm -hmm. But sports grace. What does that mean? I bet he like shoots a basketball kind of Like when off. male, when male models try to be athletic? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, like him like watch me throw this football. Him throwing a football, I think would be odd. Uh, would you guys rather just put, I'll put some briefs on? Just like stand around? Would you guys prefer if I do that? <laughs> so running and jumping things kind of hard. Let <laughs> um, me flex up. I mean, I'm shaved. I'm completely shaved. So if you want me to stand here up on this cliff in my underwear, I'm cool with that. Exactly. Justin uh, wants to stand on a cliff in his underwear. You guys are. If you guys are cool, I'll just stand around this waterfall. Justin wants to stand on a cliff. Justin wants to stand on a cliff in his underwear in front of your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you mind? Do you mind if I deep tongue kiss your girlfriend in front of you? I mean, I feel like she wants it for me and, more. And he would obviously never do that. But I'm just saying. But that's, that's what my old roommate was like. Pete was, but was like, alpha whenever though. you bring a girl home, and he was one of those guys. And he'd be like, oh, hey, sorry, I'm just in a tank top. My shirt's off. That's the joke Vecchione does on The Tonight Show yeah, about yeah. his roommate being younger and He's like, oh, is my big, massive dick hanging out? Dude, he, my I bus. swear to God, one time I brought when I brought the British rapper home, he was on the couch, like, in Euro-cut underwear. Is, was he really in that Tom Selleck playgirl pose? <laughs> yeah. He's watching Because that's the Tom like Selleck that. playgirl yeah, pose. His arm behind his back. Did he have chest hair, but it was really shaved low? I'm going to try to do that the next time my girlfriend comes back from the bathroom. Lay like that. She's like, what are you doing? Why, you back why are you chicken-winging yourself? <laughs> yeah. Ah! Hey, ah! Hey, Bob Backlund, why don't you knock it off? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, one time I brought home a girl, and he was just like, oh, hey, what's up, guys? And I was like... Yeah, no, you can't do that. And the British rapper was like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that's his sick ass body on him. I want to take his Andy Rude off. <laughs> Homeboy's got a nice body. Oh, I like balls and walls and junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's, so, Bows and wows. so yeah, Justin does have, I didn't realize that he's got like underwear model confidence. Hey, yeah. I don't know if you guys are cool with but this, that's but that's, I wouldn't mind buying a horse bareback. So if it makes sense why I think I'd be Justin in air drumming, is I think, I, I think like I can like fake more grace. Does could, that make sense at all? Could someone send one of his messenger birds out and let like, him know that there's a challenge? Like I'm already, <laughs> Justin, Justin's I, doing Taekwondo. I'm, a, I'm already thinking about my, uh, he's doing taekwondo. I'm, I'm doing my symbol. Uh, rides back and forth. Yeah, Justin's right now has got a circle of birds around him, like a John Woo movie. He's doing karate on the edge of a cliff, and he goes, hold on. The birds are saying something. A challenge. A challenge. A challenge. I must take this challenge. Yeah. He punches a hole in yes, I accept, and then rolls it back up, gives it back to the pigeon. He goes, Falcor, take it back to him. <laughs> then Jacob's on the building. He's responded. <laughs> It's like one of those camera shots where Jacob goes through the walls and you see it with that drum behind us following him. Then Jacob pops out the studio. The challenge has been accepted. <laughs>
An air drum off. An air drum off. It has to happen. Yes. We can Facebook Live it. We can Facebook Live it on the show. All proceeds go nowhere because it's we're not charging anything for it. Hello. Oh, dude, I'm going to sti- do stick twirls. I'm telling you, buddy. Are you guys going to do the same song? We should go side by side, same song. Ooh, that's real. That will be good because then you could throw off. If you're like, if you stare at him while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think Moby Dick is, you've proven to be amazing at that. I swear to God, I've I never, I, I swear to God, that's probably the longest of Moby Dick I've ever listened to. That drum uh, solo. Can you beat Shazam? Oh, yeah. I think I can beat Shazam. That show starts. By the way, my roommate that I was talking about is on Love Connection tomorrow at fo- on Fox. With and Chuck Woolery? Dude, they're not. They brought back Andy. Radio Andy does it. No Chuck Woolery. No two oh, and two. Oh, no two and two? Dude, me and Gary used I to bet watch. I can beat Shazam. Can we, can we do that or is there like licensing that we can't beat I mean, Shazam? I think that, yeah, they're... That's like a whole game show that Jamie Foxx is doing. Yeah, but I'm saying we can't, like, try to beat Shazam in the world. You're not allowed to do that now? <laughs> like, you cannot challenge Shazam. <laughs> that is a licensed product. You cannot challenge it. Huh? I, mean, I don't see why we can't. And yeah. J- Jacob's coming from the foxhole. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, J- Jacob used to work for Jamie Foxx. You want to try to beat Shazam? I think you could beat I, I have no shot. You I can barely. No shot. No. I wouldn't even throw myself in that arena. I think you could beat Shazam. You are musically talented. I wonder if I can beat Shazam. I think you can, Jay. You got a haircut. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah. (laughs) We're about building people up on this show. Yeah. Sure, we want to break people down. We like to break people down, too. Um, oh, by the way, in Poughkeepsie, there was two fans that came out, and I forgot their names, and I said I was going to say their names on the show, and then I got high on the car ride home, and I'm like, ah, and he served in the Marine, uh, he was military. I think it was the two girls, Justin goes, these girls are so down. They want to pay. <laughs> they're so down. And then they're not. The girls in Poughkeepsie are down. Well, you're going up there in two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll let you know if they're down. Are you guys going to air drum on the way up there? Oh, dude. It's going to be the whole, the whole car ride. It's going to be like the uh, God Smack drum battle. Is this the is this the preview? No. Oh, for Love Connection? No, I no, Beat Shazam. No, this is the casting. This is how you become a contestant on Beat, beat Shazam. Jay, you have to do this. Let's go Beat Shazam? You actually, let's throw his name in the ring. Can I try it? Can I, can I try doing it right now? Yeah, how do we set do? it up? Jacob, you gotta work the, well, Lou has to play a song. We gotta play, yeah, we have to play I have Shazam on my phone. Yeah. Hey, Lou too's got Shazam as well. Just put it up to the headphone, right? Alright. Yeah, right? Okay. Let's you wanna see, see what you got? Yeah. I'll scream out when Shazam gets it. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Is Shazam going? Wait for it. Go ahead. <laughs> Shazam won. What the hell was it? Oh, Misty Elliott. Blaming on the alcohol. Bing. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I'll be, oh, I'll be, ter- I'll be <laughs> terrible. I'll be terrible. I wish you guys could have seen Jacob's face. That's hilarious. That's the most, that's the most confident I've ever seen Jacob. I don't know. Uh, including well, the push-ups. I already fail. I mean, you got to do, like, can we do music from, like... Hold on. Can we go... I, 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 I'll be terrible. Is the show just Jamie Foxx song? Yeah. A Jamie Foxx song was tough. Halfway through the show, if you're like, Jamie, are these all your songs? And he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Playboy. I gave them all my own songs. Okay, here we go. Let's, you want to try to do it one more time? Sure. All right, ready. Uh, the doors. Uh, soul Kitchen. Bing, bing, bing. Yes. You beat his hand. Yes, he yeah. beat him. Yes, he did. What? See, he ain't made of iron. He ain't made of iron. You can do it. Soul Kitchen, right? Yeah. You can beat the robot. All right, one to one. Oh, you're John Connor. Let's do. Let's see if I get. See if I get three out of five. All right, dude. I'm. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna get a. I've said this before, but I mean it. I'm gonna get a boss hoodie. <laughs> oh, like Apollo's hey. quarter. Shazam oh. app ready. Big J ready. Here we go. Oh, Zeppelin. Uh, uh, thank you. Go to California, Shazam. Ah. Shazam got you. Shazam stuck Fuck. that ass. Ah. You're still in it. You're still in it. I'm still in it. Hey, come here. I'm going to grease your eyebrows. But I got to get the next two. You got to get the next two. You yeah. got to lead, Jay. You got to lead. You got to... Ready? I feel good. All right. Okay. And go. Oh, hot in here, Nelly. Bam. Bam. Jay you wins Shazam. that one. Yep. All right. It's two to two. All right. Come on, Jay. That's it. Game, game five. Game five. Do not fuck this up or we are not friends anymore. 
Okay. I hate to put a lot on you, but I just have to do that to motivate you. Okay, ready, ready, here we go. Hot stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. hot stuff on a summer. God damn it. I still think you could do it, dude. If you train, I mean, if you really train. Justin's on the horn. Justin! Oh, great. Who texted Justin? Justin Silver, everybody. The Beastmaster. How are you? Hey, buddy. Uh, just taming beasts. What's going on, boys? Ju- I told Jay. Is, Jay. is Jay kicking ass at the Shazam game? Uh, no, he's he lost to Shazam. In I five. did lose. I lost that five. Well, I got he's two so out of five. When, he's so good when it's the movie game in the car. Uh, Justin, I like your Casey Kasem voice <laughs> on the phone. Uh, uh, nails it in the vehicle. Uh, Justin, I was telling him about you doing the drum counts with Tool. While we, were, while, we were, <laughs> while we were while we were driving, we're sitting there driving, and you had I'm like looking at Dan's face, and he's like he's on, he's just singing into the road ahead, like with this anger face on, like, like shut up, I'm trying to get into the song. Where's that? Yeah, oh, and then no, the yeah, no, I told I told how I was fucking trying to lip sync over the top, so you would see that I was trying to listen to the song, and then you, you go- look at it like you do it the way I do it in the mirror, like with the tennis racket. Type yeah, of I fucking you know I go I mean? hard. Like you're way in. Yo, I'm in the studio, like bro. In. I'm laying it down on <laughs> what? You guys are. You, got, you guys were in a, you guys were in a zip car, and Justin's playing a fucking fourteen piece kit <laughs> like fucking Alex Van Halen. <laughs> Dan, lower your head. I gotta whack my gong. <laughs> Jay said that you were trying to mathematical equations on the, in the passenger. It was four, three, three, four. God. But I said you're looking for this information, Justin, of which you're going to take it home to do nothing with. You don't have a drum kit. I don't have a drum kit right now. I used to have the electric one, buddy. I know. I, I said I, I told not, him you had it, but it's why? Not even like, it's not even like if I had the electric one, I could do anything other than like a four on the floor beat anyway. Right, but I, and by the way, in defense, all the laughing at you playing drums was branched off of just a, of a Dan making the mistake of saying, "You know, Justin can play the drums, right?" And I went, "No." <laughs> I go, "Me and Justin can play the drums the same. We could kind of play like a few beats." You're better than I am. No, you're better than I am. Um, but it's uh, but I mean, yeah, we're just both not good at uh, and, drumming. But he was saying that, but, no, you, but him saying you're air drumming because Dan didn't believe that I would be able. To air drum for you. He's like, no, nah, Justin was air drum like he knew what he was doing. I go, so can I. And I don't know and what the hell I'm nailed, doing. Then he nailed Moby Dick. And then I Dick. nailed Moby Dick right here in the studio, buddy. Jay corrects my air drumming. That was when we were at Edmonton. You're like correcting my air drumming. <laughs> oh, so there is no challenge. Funny. So you would openly admit that Jay's the better air drummer. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. I didn't know there was a challenge involved in this. Well, you, you didn't get the message by uh, mess Courier Pigeon? We yeah, sent we, it. We sent your, we sent <laughs> your delivery say, Do I get to bring my bird? We sent a, we sent a owl to your house so you can get your invitation to Hogwarts and a challenge. <laughs> Justin goes, hold on, hold on, baby. We can't make love right now. There's a messenger owl. <laughs> it's got its head going backwards. That's a I challenge. like the information. I like the information because it, it just I, it goes with my OCD. You know, my counting shit. Uh-huh. So it just it just sort of fi- it's like sort of fills the need in a way that's sort of enjoyable for me. Really? Because Dan's just angry looking at the road, and you're going four, 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 three, six, three, six, three, five. It was like Rain Man. I was like trying to drive, and he's like, yeah, definitely four, three. Symbol crash, symbol crash, ride symbol, ride symbol, ride, 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 ride. <laughs> you weren't engaged at all, Dan. You were just like, like you're ruining the song. I'm like, the counting, that's the best part. No, it's not the best part. The best part's the song that the counting makes. <laughs> Oh, you know it's a great song. Welcome to the jungle. It's five, five, five. You guys six, hey. five, five. Oh, you guys, you guys might know this classic. Three, three, four, four, <laughs> four, three, four. <laughs> and who can forget five, four, five? Now that's what I call music. The Justin double bass, Silver double bass, double bass, double bass. <laughs> two, two, four, six, eight, seven. I just, I just sit there and read street music. You're like, what are you doing? I'm like, ah, oh, sh- I'm looking to do an awesome tune, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go. He just reads. Yeah, you just see him reading something. He gets up. He goes, that guy fucking can wail. <laughs> that guy. I hope your next, ass. both of your next two specials are just like embarrassing stories about the shit that goes on when I'm on the road with you, bro. No, oh, yeah, no, we're gonna. Yeah, actually... we're all out of Lewis stories. Lewis grew up, and now we don't have nothing funny. Now everyone's out of stories. Nate, Kurt, me. All have uh, Lewis stories. 
All of Lewis' stories. In our specials and albums. <laughs> and I was involved in one of those stories and edited out. That son of a bitch. Mm, story. You're burn, out. Burn, oh, oh, Nate. That's right. Um, Justin, thanks for calling in, buddy. I'll let you get back to falconing. Yeah, good luck with your Later, birds. Buddy. And uh, I hope to take lessons at Jay's Drum School, so I hope to see you there. Air Drum Academy. <laughs> ADA. Bye, Justin. Bye. Uh, I am Justin Silver on Twitter. Uh, 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 uh. Um, let's uh, take a break. Let's take our first break, and when we come back, we have uh, some fun, some fun, fun shit to talk about. Yeah, there were some correspondence. Oh, uh, we got a little, little bit of correspondence going, a little bit of fun stuff to talk about. I did not beat Shazam, but this is still the bonfire. You're still my John Connor. We've all taken jobs to earn extra cash. Back in the day, I used to. I used to have fun. Yeah? I had fun. And then those days dried up. But anyways, <laughs> I got some extra money. So I've got a better way you can earn extra money on the side. It's uh, much easier today, thanks to Uber. Uber is the ultimate side hustle. Driving with Uber is a new way you can earn extra cash whenever you want. It's not just another J-O-B, Jay. It's a totally flexible way to earn. <laughs> a J-O-B, Jay? <laughs> <J-O-B-J? laughs> <laughs> what do you think that is? J-O-B-J? Fill in the blank. <laughs> uh, definitely Everyone, a, go to uber.com slash drive now and tell them you want a J-O-B-J. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can, uh, uh, drive with Uber. If you ever wanted to be your own boss, uh, Jay, I bet you would. A J-O-B-J. <laughs> I'm sorry. J-O-B-J-Y. We're, 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 we're too deep. We're J-O-B-J-Y. Too deep. <laughs> J-O-B-J. Come on. All right. Well, That's I bet in the, the script. I will drive with Uber, and you, you're you your own boss. If you're driving right now, you should be earning right now. I'd do it. I'd totally do it. J-O-B-J. J-O-B-J is for money? <laughs> of course you would. And Uber's in- <laughs> Uber's instant pay makes everyday payday. You can cash oh. out. You can cash out straight from, from the app to your bank account up to five times a day. Listen, if you enjoy earning extra cash, if there's something special you'd like to buy, you can earn starting making you money. So go ahead. Get your side hustle on. Sign up to drive with Uber today. Go to uber.com slash drive now. That's uber.com slash drive now. U-B-E-R dot com <laughs> slash drive now. Certain restrictions apply. <laughs> See site for details. J-O-B. J-O-B. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, everybody, until Lou finds a respectable version. For the love of Greg Allman. So this isn't the come. I hope you guys don't think we're coming back with something. No. Nothing uh, is labeled. I don't know which one is what. Nothing That's the labeled. disrespect that a rock god like Hang Greg Allman on. gets. I've Christine seen this just... band a bunch of times. Oh, I don't think it's you, dude. It I think it's thing. the system, bro. Oh. Thanks, man. I think, think it's the systems, know, bro. You think you know something because you were selling NOS balloons outside of <laughs> the Almond Brothers concert? Yeah. I think we found it. Your air drums, I'm air bass. Oh. I always have to be air bass. I'm too yeah. long and tall. Let's pick at it. R.I.P. Greg Allman. Oh. Greg Allman, everybody. And the Allman Brothers band, the Midnight Rider. You know that. Lou finally found it respectable. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Mm. We're talking Shazam. We're talking air drumming. Justin Silver's video of him air drumming that he just sent to Jay is... He uh, clicks the stick so many times. <laughs> Did he say we could share that video? And we're showing it to, I'm showing it to you. Yeah, but can we tweet it out? <laughs> <laughs> he gets a little tongue stick at the end. He let you put it out, I'm sure. It still makes you want to fuck him. Still still smoking hot in that tight tee. Wanna, there's a girl in the corner of that video going like, oh, Justin, he's so sexy when you want those sticks. Your rhythm, baby. I love your rhythm. Oh, get over here and work my nips. There you go. Do you want me to go stand over there under that waterfall again? Justin's hitting 75 more drum hits that are happening in the song. <laughs> Uh, it's like when someone fights and just throws just a fucking medley. It's a flurry, yeah. That's, that's the it. fucking, I don't know what that, I don't know if it's drumming or a hurricane of teeth and knuckles. Ah, ah, get away from her! <laughs> <laughs> ah! But even with my own, I'd love to hear the actual, like, drum version of something being hit to uh, what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 
psh, 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 psh. And then I'd be sitting there going, one, three, five, yeah. three, five, 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 six, four, five, six, five, six, five, four, five, six, five, six. Stephanie Falcone on Twitter said that you should just play Shazam. You should just see if you can beat the people in the actual show. Yeah, do we have it up? I'll do that. I'll do a round. I'll do a do round you, of Shazammy. I, do you, I mean, we did our own bonfire version, but this is actual yeah, let me Academy see Award winning well Jamie Foxx's version. Yeah, this is Ray on Charles Fox. beat Shazam. You know, I don't know what you know about me, but I started on Fox not too long ago on this little show called In Living Color. Oh. Hey. Oh. I, I was alive for yeah. that. Wasn't that Jim Carrey show? Yeah. I yeah. was the David Allen it. Green guy. Just only part the white people. Yeah. Yeah. I got music <laughs> and money. Make some noise. Y'all. Music and money. Music and money. Oh, and Living Color, the most groundbreaking white sketch show of all time. See who's the fastest at identifying the monster hit song. And these people, yeah, Christine, skip ahead. So yeah, and also turn down the volume real quick, because the people, the way they're clapping, that's not a natural way to clap, where it's too up and down. Where they're like, ah! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> By the time you're down, you're up again. All right, the contestants are at their futuristic pods. Oh, they and they give them like a... They give them really? options. Oh. There's options. It's over. Watch. Dude, if it's Go options, um, oh, and you get a hype man, Jay. Oh, you be my hype man, dude. Dude, I'll be there for you. I'll tell him. The this am Jay be wrecking this game. Oh, I'm like get him, and I won't even answer. <laughs> I'll just be your hype man. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just be your Jimmy Hart. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do. It. Let's see if I can beat this Asian guy in a bow tie. With it, two thousand dollars. Let's go. Song number three, party song, October. Hit me. Oh wait, go back. No. Oh wow. Uh, se- sexy it's party, it's party rock anthem. Party rock anthem. All right, Shazam. What's the correct answer? Party rock anthem. I'm bad at that kind of music. Oh, looks like you looks like you just got a partner, bro. Hell yeah. Everybody got it wrong. I'm gonna take that money, and me and I talk. I would have got it right, there. Jay. I think we just found out that the bonfire might be the perfect beat Shazam team. It's fun. my knowledge of flash pop music. Dollars, a thousand dollars on All right, the line. I'm not Let's going down the end. Guys. A guy's October. name is Chin. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Are y'all shake your booty. What is it? Shake, shake, shake. What is it? Shake your booty. What if Shake the entire crowd booty. was on MDMA and they just drugged them up just to get in there and they're like, it was the greatest time I've ever had in my life. I also knew it was Casey and the Sunshine Band. You know that? Well, I don't think I go that deep, bro. We're just trying to win. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. We're on the same team. Act like you've been there before. Um, there you go. On the board with Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Well, I think it's proven that I think we're, in a, we're basically the Legion of Doom of Shazam. Because we got... Both right. I don't know. That's the music. That's not. This is party songs, though. I want to get to a better subject. Through. They're not gonna do like this. stoner deep cuts. No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is fucking dad rock. You want fucking, some whiskey? Uh, Lou and Doors B side on me. I got it. This is the last song in this category. And the fastest way to build your bank. <laughs> oh yeah, playing the playing against the app is better. You were just playing for it. Now we had it a better way. $1, Did we just rewrite this game I'm show so it's this. better? I think we just made this game show better. October, you ready? Just two guys in the radio studio playing it. I don't know. I don't know. Drop it low, probably, if I had to guess. Shazam, what's the correct answer? I don't, yeah. We would, we would take a, we'd take a thumping in this category. Yeah, I'm just bad at, like, the like current Next music. up, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Songs you might have died to alcoholism, By the way, too. Black Lou. <gasps> oh, I'm going to nail it! <laughs> Black Lou judges for not knowing that Ursher song. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I can't believe this. I'm working for Black a bunch of like, fucking... damn, yo, that was Ursher. Yeah, these crackers it's can't even keep up. It's <laughs> not that new. Huh? It's not that new. I don't like your sick voice. <laughs> oh, yes. It's not that new. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> all right, I think we can prove that our version of Beach Shazam is better. Yeah. Than the I think it's done. Show. done. 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 Next topic. Speaking of music. Next. I got a tweet about Fell Dog. Don't be so cryptic. I got to be cryptic, dog. Because <laughs> this information could blow open a whole conspiracy theory. Oh, shit. On the phone. He's still being molested. We've given him a name. <laughs> he was the one molested. <laughs> I molested Corey. Yeah. Our, I didn't realize that our fell dog voice is 
Justin. Justin. Which yeah. is, I, got, I, got, I told you, I got it? four impressions, and they all, each one and covers like eight people apiece. It's always some. Yeah. My my Mark Wahlberg is the only one I've ever done fresh off. That's of why I wish I could else. remember this couple's name because they walked up and we just did Wahlberg for like fucking ten minutes after my show. <laughs> I just gotta say the show was good, but I mean like uh, this fucking robot cars outside. There's no time he, to laugh. That's what he said. He was like, I don't know how you can enjoy a comedy show with these all these robot cars. <laughs> um, this on, just in. This just in. Uh, breaking news from a camper on the phone. Jonathan. Jonathan, you there? What's up, guys? Crackle, crackle, motherfucker. Crackle, crackle, motherfucker. I like a guy that throws a good MF in the end of a Me crackle, too. crackle. Means he fucking means so, it. What's up, guys? Long time listener, first time caller. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to just get this out the way. Um, Dan, ever yeah. since I saw you at uh, the Creek in the Cave when you went for the podcast with Legion of Skanks with yeah. Michael Bisping, yeah. I've been listening to the show, and ever since then, I've been listening. Oh, wow, well, fucking awesome. day, man. Thanks. Yeah, Jay, you, um, it was, the first that was, oh, no. uh, Michael Bisbing was on Legion of Skanks when you were yeah, out, I was you, out of town. Yeah, you were out of town, and, uh, Michael Bisbing, middleweight UFC champion of the world, awesome fucking dude. Yeah. And, uh, and then he would, like, joke around with you and be like, shut up, like, in, like, a joking way, but I am terrified of him, so he would, like, <laughs> he'd be like, shut up, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, I will, I should absolutely shut up. That I'm sorry. eye is crazy looking, Yeah, man. I mean, he's a badass. He's, like, a re- legit, he, like, badass. Uh, and he's also got a show on Sirius. He's checking out with our good friend, Luis J. Gomez. I, I'm not going to call him a badass. I mean, like, if he wants to go, I'll go. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. What's it's up? Bisping. You think Bisping wants to rock with me? <laughs> I love if you, you think you think Bisping wants to roll with the kid. I, okay. I all right. It. All right. All right. All right. All right. Drop you with a liver shot where you make one of those weird noises. Oh, you're talking about fighting. I thought we were going to have an air drum thing with me and Michael Bisping. Oh, that would be even better. Oh, oh no, no, no. Fighting, he will murder me. Yeah. Uh, but John. Oh, I thought you were talking air drum shit, buddy. I'm sitting a little high on my horse right now. <laughs> <laughs> but Jonathan, you were talking about uh you tweeted at me something about Fell Dog that Go For It, which he performed on the Today Show, uh was not his song. Yup, yup, correct. That's great. So <laughs> and the original person is and you just sent us the the video, uh Celine Stone. How did you find were you just on YouTube looking for Go For It? Uh well actually funny story was yesterday I was um I was at home. I was fixing my sister's MacBook. So I was just, I had my phone computer. So I was just on the computer and I was like, you know what? Let me, let me look for his video. Cause I, I remember you guys talked about it like many times before about oh, the yeah. fat chick. It's... And I was like, I don't see this fat chick on it. So I was like, ah, let me look for the official video. I was looking for it. And then, uh, I kept scrolling through the videos and then like this one particular video of Celine Stone popped up. And I was like, that gotta be it. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's it. I well, click on it and yeah. I hear it and I'm like, oh shit. You this sir. Are a modern day Bob Woodward. You are bringing us. Uh, so let's play the video. Thanks for calling in, Jonathan. You're the best man. Thanks for listening. Out, man. And uh, now we'll say this: is what's weird about this video? It does say, "Go for it." Official video featuring Celine Stone and Snoop Dogg. Could this be Fell Dogg's video? Hit play. Let's see what's going. Let's. Oh, all right. Production value is Very, low. I'll tell you this: it's Corey Feldman low though. Celine Stone. It's in a billboard. It's New York City. In go for it. Oh, she's an alien. She got a killer six pack. White. White Avenue in Brooklyn. Oh my god. What a journey. This is very. This song's not epic enough for this. Yeah, what are you doing? Why is there so much? Intro. I almost am glad Corey Feldman did it. Get it. Oh. What you're gonna do is twerk. That chick's got a fucking rough face. Oh, yeah. She really does have fucking Topeka. She's got a jaw like a fucking Mexican boxer. <laughs> she keep coming forward. So this is the same lyrics? Lou, can you bring up Corey Feldman's Go For It? Oh, I mean, it's... Now, it's, Snoop Dogg's in both, though. Yeah, Snoop Dizzle's getting double paid. Ooh. Oh, for shizzle, Rizzle. I've been crazy since Clint Dizzle. Oh, my God. This is recorded one? This is one off the TV. It is. It's an A-show. It's... 
Was he covering it? Thanks. But like the same chorus B. Oh, not the same lyrics. <laughs> She's it's not no, because hers are like sexy girl. I, it's not the same lyrics. <laughs> he's doing, he's all, I think it might be the same my, lyrics. He's all fuck my pussy. <laughs> I, 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 I want you to give it to me. If you want this body, just come on, take my shorts. <laughs> fuck me in my titties and my dookie ho. <laughs> Do you like my legs? Do they get you hot? Look at my butt and definitely female. Uh, is this... Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Ew, ew. So this is a difference. I mean, I go back to her. I think it's the same lyrics. No, no look, I have his lyrics pulled up. Yeah, but... Where's go, hers? Go to hers. Play hers, Christine. Let's go back. This... Let, let's go back and hear what hers are. She looks sick. She looks like she has a head cold. Fucking cool. Nope, nope. Nope, they want you on the ground. By the way, if you thought her lyrics suck dick, his are, they're trying to beat you down, they want you on the ground. They leave you lying on at the door, don't make a sound. Make from us until nobody knows it. What? What she's demanding sexually sounds exhausting. <laughs> so we, we got to dig now. Who stole this? Who's the original? Well, this is the original. This, this came out was, two years ago. Yeah. This was two years ago. This was 2014, and uh, he his was released in 2016. Wow, but a, both are featuring Snoop Dogg, so I'm wondering if maybe he like wrote something and just sold it to two different people. That chick's got a serious moose knuckle. <laughs> um, why is she? She wants to fuck a robot. Is that the idea? And then she's like, I guess I'll fuck Corey Feldman, who dances like a robot. <laughs> she goes, he's part robot. Look at that fucking beef snatch, man. That thing is wide. What, how can you just tell from her dancing? She's like a wide puss area. How do you know that? I, I'm looking at her puss area every time well, they show it. She's in a dress right there. Okay, and then there she's not. <laughs> when she faces forward, she's right. got a real wide puss area. Oh, I see what she did. It's equally as bad. Maybe she became an angel after this. Oh, oh shit. What a theory, Lou. Yeah. Oh. She got an unreal body. <laughs> Her face is terrible. Um, Christine, that's not terrible. That's a stupid thing to say. It's not terrible. Oh, there's Snoop. I think Snoop just sold this verse. Did, did he say kitty, kitty? Yeah, okay. Kitty, kitty. All she wanna do is work. Too much ass in that skirt. All she wanna do is twerk. That's why Corey Feldman had to get dog ice. Now wait, but what is Snoop Dogg doing? Snoop Dogg's on Corey Feldman's version. The, uh, the recording, yes. He does the same exact thing. He says the same thing? Yes, yeah. He says kitty kitty. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those are the lyrics too. Yeah. So Corey Feldman took this song, or maybe he bought it from her. He could have bought it from her, and they didn't take the video down. So, you know what's even worse now about Corey Oh, Feldman? no, look out, gay aliens. At the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And now I judge Corey Feldman more for seeing this and being like, I got to redo that. She did my vision. I want to cover her. I, I need to make it. an ode. It's almost like God put my words into you. You are my... You think I can say, Kenny, Kenny? Did he do a whole video? He did a video for this. Oh, yeah. Um... All right, well, looks like we've uh, uncovered some interesting information about Feldog. I think Can I tell you, it really actually does bum me out. That it's stolen? Yeah, I thought it's silly. Well, I mean, he put his own Feldog twist on with those goofy lyrics. <laughs> oh, but People kick me down, put me on the ground, aim and not a sound. Ew, 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 ew. It's perfect. I'm looking around. 
Don't you wanna kick my face? Tell me to leave this place. I never, 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 never leave. And by the way, it is very 80s lyrics. Positivity. <laughs> <laughs> It really is. You're not nice of me. You guys are just jealous. All his lyrics are like that, like <laughs> taking his ball and going home. Uh, it really is. Uh, you know what? Something that he can never copy and nobody could ever steal from him is. Oh, you always cut it off before my favorite. That's it. That's the clip I. Put. Oh, you got to add when he does it. There's one last Yelp. Yeah. Um, this makes me doubt if everything's been stolen. <laughs> You're worried about all of his works now? I'm starting to think none of these songs are his own shitty songs. Some of it was fun. Did you ask Justin if we could post yeah. it? He said, why do you think I sent it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, he knows how to get good press for himself, even if it's bad press. Yeah. People uh, are talking. At the bonfire. That's I a good saying, angle. Some Twitter. chick's going to say they want to fuck him from that. She's like, what are you doing later? He's like, I don't know. I'll probably clean it off my sticks. You want me to air bongo your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, well, we're going to go see Corey Feldman live. I wish we could, he was granting interviews. Corey Feldman? Yeah, he's not, uh... He canceled the meet and greet. He canceled the meet and greet because it's his birthday, right? I got a lot of things going on. Oh, That's soon, soon, right? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. It's like crazy soon. What? The, it's July 16th? July 16th. Oh, July. June, I thought July it was June. 16. Yeah. It's July. Well, this week we got Clusterfest, Comedy Central's Clusterfest in San Francisco. We're going to be doing a live show this Sunday, June 4th. Go to Clusterfest.com for badges. I'm very excited about that. Get your stinking badges. You're going to need badges. Also, hit it, Lou. Uh-huh. Big J going to be performing at the Seneca Casino in Niagara Falls. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. With Nick Not next week, Christine. He's going to be, and then uh, June 6th, that's next Tuesday, he's going to be at the Hollywood Improv in yeah, L.A. Come out to that. Go I get went, tickets went, at BigJComedy.com. I want fans there for that. Are you doing a show? Are we doing a show from L.A.? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, no. Monday? No, it's just vacation week. It's vacation week. I oh, yeah. I'm in San Francisco. Fest, yeah. Yes. Okay. You're in San's Franzi. Yeah. But we're going to um, air the live show from Sunday that Wednesday. Got it. So if yeah. you're in the L.A. area, make sure you go check out Big J at the Hollywood Improv. Again, you can go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And, of course, never forget. And that plane is going to be taking them to Tacoma Comedy Club in Tacoma, Washington State, Thursday, June 8th through Saturday, June 10th. Get your tickets at the theallnewdansoder.com and get them quick because they're going to sell out because... Take a break and come back with a guest. We've got two guests today. Boing. Yeah, it's the bonfire. Oh, we've all, t- again, we've all taken jobs that earn extra cash. Back in the day, I worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I unloaded trucks there for nine months. I told oh, you that. All right. My loofah game was crazy. I had so many loofahs, I'd just wipe myself for fun with them. Yeah, but that's just another J-O-B. <laughs> no, nah, but it's not a J-O-B-J. <laughs> I've got a better way you can earn extra money on the side. It's so much easier today, thanks to Uber. Uber's the ultimate side hustle. Driving with Uber is a new way you can earn extra cash whenever you want. It's not just another J-O-B. It's a totally flexible way to earn. You can turn it on and off just like your car. If you have a few, few spare hours here and there, drive with Uber. Have you ever wanted to be your own boss, Jay? Uh, yes. And I also like turning my car on. Yeah. I wear little outfits. <laughs> I like to, uh, I like to just breathe on the bumper. I like turning the app on too. It's nice. Yeah. I just kind of sidle up next to it and yeah. wink. I go like this. How you doing? Hey, app. I just sometimes... I'm going to turn you on. Like I turn, this always gets my car turned on. Does this turn you on, like my car? <laughs> well, drive with Uber, and you could be your own boss. If you're driving right now, you should be earning right now. I'd do it. I'll go outside and do it right now. I'll take a man's car and <laughs> right do it. Right now. <laughs> Starting I will Uber. An Uber. <laughs> I will do Uber right now. <laughs> <laughs> and Uber's InstaPay makes everyday payday. You can cash out straight from the app hey. to your bank. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I got to commandeer this car. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> Up to five times a day. Oh, God. It's so much fun. Listen, if you enjoy earning extra cash, if there's something special you'd like to buy, 
your car can start making you money. So go ahead. Get your side hustle on. Sign up to drive with Uber today. Go to uber.com slash drive now. That's uber.com slash drive now. You Uber. can't, you can't take somebody's car and become an Uber driver. You're no, not allowed to your do own that car. Don't, don't ever own. do that. Don't ever you do that. Your own car. You use your own vehicle that you own. You, you ber.com slash drive now. Certain restrictions apply. See side for details. Again, your own car. Your own car. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. It's all Allman Brothers on the bonfire. Comedy Center Radio, Sirius XM 95. J. Okerson, Dan Soder. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Christine's going to get some affluent for her face. Uh, um, <laughs> we also mentioned that it is the 73rd birthday? 79th. 79th? 79th. Of Clint Eastwood. Hey. Happy birthday, you old racist guy. <laughs> Get my name right, you jughead. God damn it, you stupid piece of mountain trash. I'm 89 years old. 79? 80, 79. Yes. Get it right. <laughs> you son of a Wait, are you saying 79? Yes. Oh, my God, I hate you, you piece of Philadelphia garbage. <laughs> it's actually 87. You're 87, you piece wow, of... Wow, really? He's 87? Wow, two years younger than Banana. Well, then you got to forgive all of this racism. We're going to turn this, we're going to amp this thing up a little bit. I was born in 19. I say we ramp it up with more racism because at 87, he can say whatever he wants. Yes, you know, all these folks are supposed to be good at math, right? I don't even like Protestants. <laughs> That's how old I am. You better have blue eyes like a Hitler wet dream. Yeah. If there's any, any <laughs> sort of muddying up of your whiteness, I hate you. I'm... I see one dark hair, I'll throw you right in the goddamn furnace. I get blonde and pink. <laughs> like a summer pig. You damn asshole. <laughs> I want it to look like you're made of damn ham. I like your pussy to look like, a, like an eye with allergies. Yeah. <laughs> Just irritated red from all materials. Like lipstick red. You're like, you're allergic to cotton, but it's the only thing that won't give you hives on your snatch. <laughs> Oh, that's the answer. Did you get any effects? That's fine. It was cooking good, and now I feel like perhaps I can continue with my job. How is it? Did you get the first spray in? Yeah, I did it, like, while I was still in line. Were you like, oh, mama needs it? <laughs> you breaking up? Huh? Breaking up a little bit? Yeah. Oh, Afrin is the jam. You can get addicted to that shit. Well, I've been using it for, like, a week. Since we got back from Denver, I've been on yeah. Sudafed and Afrin, and today I was like, I just wanted to do it right before... And then the thing was empty. I've gone through, okay. I've gone through like a three weeks of Afrin every day and then I'd stop and I don't, you know, when I, when That's I, it, you're a casual Afrin user. No, and I genuinely don't need it anymore. No, it's I know like that. Two weeks, it'll be See, like sometimes two it takes, I, I can't, do we have to talk and broadcast and yeah. stand up? You cannot take a break. And I learned about this in Houston, Texas. Nate, Nate Bargatze and the guy who managed the club, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get to these shows and I, I go, I can barely talk. I'm breathing out of my mouth because my nose is shut off. <laughs> And they go, Matt and Nate was like, you never did that from before? Yeah. I was like, I was like, no, he I goes, a guy. he goes, it's like a miracle. No, it's, dude, like, it's, 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 I don't understand. I was eight years old when Trish broke me off my first snort of Afro. Yeah. And I remember really? being pretty young. I remember being eight years old and be like, oh my God, I can breathe again. I it's never insane. used it until I, like, Jay told me about it. I didn't know about oh, it. Oh yeah, I preach it out just the same way. Now yeah. you are making it sound like a drug, like Jay rolled over in bed and he goes, try some. You want to try it with There's me? Girl, oh, do you remember a girl at Stan Tally? Yeah. She used it every fucking day. <laughs> you can get that. I mean, people, look that up, but I think people can get it addicted to Afrin. Well, it's called I'm always harfing. worried that my nose is no, going to shut no, off and I'm going to need it. Oh, to God. I, I was on board with you. I thought <laughs> it was going to name it something. It's called harfing. Yeah. When Dude, you get addicted to that. My brother harfed to death. <laughs> that just sounds like a fake thing you could do, like, like hashtag harfing. And then people yeah. like, what's that? What's that? It's where you do so much Afrin, your nose cavity stays open and, and something <laughs> yeah. will <and> kill you. <laughs> he goes, yeah, Beetle got up there. Yeah. I fell asleep. I kicked a pebble up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I took some gravel. Truck. <laughs> Truck shot some gravel up into my nose. <laughs> and then blew my legs out. Now I can't walk. Uh, oh, I think we have Roy Wood Jr. coming in. Yeah, time. he's going to be at Cluster Fest. Roy Wood Jr. going to be at Cluster Fest in San Francisco this weekend, Saturday, June 3rd, and Sunday, June 4th. So if you're in the Bay Area, go to visit ClusterFest.com and get badges and showtimes. Yeah, and you know, you're going to need your badges. You're going to need your stinking badges anyway to catch our live taping of the bonfire Sunday, June 4th. 
Uh, and again, that's at Clusterfest. Go to Clusterfest.com and get all your badges. It's going to be a fun time. Man. Yeah, man, I'm excited. You get to San Francisco Friday? Uh, I get there Friday. Me too. I'm going to go watch Ice Cube. Yeah, Icky Kube. We have to go watch Icky Kube. We have to go watch. Uh, is that on? Is that on Friday? Yeah, yeah. and Little Dicky. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. He's from Philly, right? Yeah, yeah. I just want to do both of those things. Oh, man, we're stepped on. No, it's Wednesday. No, this is. I got dad. all thrown off because it's a holiday. Weekend. This is the dad from Teen Wolf and Mexican something. <laughs> I forget. We called Mexican Santa at one point. I think there's a schedule at Clusterfest. I have a show Saturday and Sunday. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. look at you. Yeah. Friday is uh, yeah. Little Dicky and Ice Cube. Yeah, it is. And then Kevin Hart and the Plastic Cup Boys. Yeah. Jacob. There Mr. he Cole. is. Fellow Cluster Fester, Roy Wood Jr., Roy Wood everybody. Jr. Yeah. Roy Wood Jr. Man. Comedian icon. Did you, you ever see a... Do you use Afrin? Afrin. Yeah, do you know an Afrin? The nose spray? No, no, I don't snort. <laughs> <laughs> see, it is like a Did drug. you see how excited Black Lou got to another black guy came in the room? <laughs> that's White Lou, that's Black Lou. I mean, I swear to God, uh, Black Lou was like, he's like, it was like, it was like, it's even enough. It's so big. It's good. What's happening, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I got so much to tell you about these fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't nah, know don't... shit. They don't know shit. I never fool with Afrin, eye drops, just anything. Really? Yeah, anything where I have to drop or inject stuff back into a hole. You have a no injection balls. Like yeah. That. All right. I just can't do it. All your holes are exit only. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um, I've never been an eye drops guy ever. I've never, the whole concept wigs me. I actually did it the other day because she has these allergy ones. My eyes were really dry in Colorado. Colorado. I was like, oh, let me try them. And I just, the whole pro, I'm like, I don't think I'm doing it. Because as soon as it hits my eyes, I start blinking like, a thousand times. Well, yeah, it's just the out. anticipation of yeah. it. It's psychological. But after I love. Watching loved. it drop in. I used to, when I was in high school, and I started smoking weed, and I tried to use Visine, and I couldn't do it. So I just squirted it into the corner of my eye and just rub it in and hope it worked. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. I don't think it worked at all. I was going in with my eyes cash. Can you touch your own eye? No. Oh. No? No. Oh, yeah, disgusting. Disgusting. No, I can't. I cannot do it. I can't wear contacts. Why? I think it would, that's why I squint all the time. I'm telling you, you can you can just physically do it. I don't want to do it. It's but fun. you don't want to do no, it. It wigs me out. Oh, but you can do it. I don't know. I've why never... would you want to hack your brain Thank to make you. it think it's okay? You, you blink because your brain is saying, "Oh hell, don't so. touch my eye." Yeah, <laughs> don't touch my eyes. Don't touch my eyes. That's every blink. Don't touch my eyes. Yeah, that's literally every blink. Get block, block, block. You can touch the, you can touch like the corner white of your eye. No way, man. Absolutely. I bet I could, but I don't want to. Just do it! No! Here, I'm puss. it all over this board. Are you doing it? I'm doing it. I got it. I'm okay! It. It's a little salty. All right. Uh-huh. Why would you do it? Watch Chase. I just starts bleeding yeah. out of the corner. Guys, does, goes, everything, does everything look all right here? Does anyone else, else would you do that? Does anyone else smell grain burning? Anybody <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. else taste nickels? No. That's why I feel bad for my son, because he's still at that age where I can't get in there to get those boogers for him. You can't. Also, you don't do spray it. Spray that nasal juice in there. Yeah. That softens up that booger crust real good, and then you put the... Suction. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Pulls it right so you off. have to suck. You have to like soften the boogers and then suction yeah. them out. Yeah. And, I, and he hates it. Yeah. God, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta it. jam like a bulb in their nose and like you know you release it and it sucks everything out of their yeah. nose. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's how you get boogers out of a baby. How are these so gross? So you can sleep better at night. Clear nostrils. Because it feels. Oh, okay. Because I'm. I thought you were talking about the <laughs> eye boogers. Oh no! No hell no! Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, this is so complicated was, for eye boogers. Like, I get those out with a pencil. <laughs> 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 Sticks them on a wall. He goes, That's your booger wall from when you were a kid. That's your eye booger wall. But I had classmates that used to do like the stupid human tricks and yeah. like, push their eyeball in, like Mar- not just touch it, but like push it and like give it a nice little nudge. What about I think people? I could do that too. What about the people that could flip their eyelids? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That used to wig me out. Nah, I can't. And my mom was double jointed. She could do the thing where you could bend just like the tips of your fingers and it makes that weird dent in the middle of your finger. You ever have that girl in class that could like make prayer hands in the small of her back? Like put both of her hands uh, behind her back and like, like you're praying. Oh, you yeah, can do yeah, that? Yeah. But Christine behind your back. You can do that behind your no, back? No, you can't. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me see. Oh, uh, what? are you possessed by the devil? Uh, you're the devil woman. That wasn't bad. <laughs> 
I didn't yeah, know I she could do that. Hey, can we get out of here? <laughs> uh, she's freaking me the fuck out, dude. Ooh, I didn't know my chicken give me a behind the backer. Yes. <laughs> she's jerking you off. <laughs> Literally, she could do that, like just on the train. <laughs> you're standing behind her on the train, and no one would be on the way. She's giving me a fucking you're, you're just back, your behind face, the backy. She didn't have the stroke. Technically, if she just held her hands really, really tightly together, yeah. and I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked into. You'd have them. to. You have yeah. to go like this. It'd have to be that up thrust with yeah. your hips. Which is not my favorite thrust. Well, if you're going to do this in public behind her back. I'm not a big fan of the up thrust. What I'd rather you, have a down thrust, I think. What, what, you, what could you call a behind the back hand job? A magic? A magic Johnson? <laughs> a magic Johnson? <laughs> yeah, a John Stockton? A no look? A Stockton. Yeah, a no look. I yeah. think it's a behind the book black. Yeah. yeah I call it white chocolate. Yeah, a no look. look. Yeah, a Jason Williams? It's Jason Williams. Hey, honey, give me a Jason Williams on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen footage of him lately? He still has handles. See? Because he's the greatest white guy of all time. Who could not shoot for shit. Well, we don't have to bring that up. I just took it right back down. I said Everlast is probably the coolest white guy ever, and he stands by Jason Williams. I didn't stand by. Okay. I'm saying the coolest white guy of all time is Jason Williams. But it's just to make it not Everlast. He just wants to be contrary. That's the only reason I was doing it. He doesn't really believe that. He's not even the coolest white guy that was ever in the NBA. Jason Williams. Who's the coolest white guy? He was the been? hippest. Like Sean Bradley. Oh, man. Talk about copying my homework, Sean Bradley. <laughs> Sean Bradley looks like he's drunk. Sixers. Matt Geiger. Yeah, Geiger looks like everyone's stepdad, and, and fucking Sean Bradley looked like everyone used him as a DD. Oh, man. He's like, I would love to drive for you. <laughs> he goes, I will move your seat all the way back. Sean Bradley um, became like the one monstar. <laughs> I would argue Bill Lane Beer, coolest white guy in the history of the NBA. Really? But that was not a time. Most gangster white guy. He's oh, definitely most dude. gangster, but he was at a time where it, no one looked cool in their uniforms except a few black dudes. Oh, because it was the Daisy Duke era. It was the short. It was like tight. Now the uniforms are, but I think NBA uniforms are embarrassing now. I think they're ridiculous. You know they're getting worse because they're going to do the um, the advertising on the front, like soccer jerseys. Yeah. They really doing that? Yeah, they already showed the prototypes the two teams. Right now it's going to be small like right over like the shoulder blade. Kind of like Nike oh, and Reebok the, used the, to do? The collarbone? Yeah. Correct. But then it's going to grow into that point where the logo for the company will be bigger than the team logo. Mm, that's all. That's such a crusty European way of doing things. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's, but even like the, the design of the clothes, it's like tight t-shirts. Now. It doesn't even look comfortable to play basketball in, like what they're wearing now. Well, you know why? They, they they fuck with it all the time for marketing. So they sure. could resell the new, oh, you have that jersey? Mm. But do you have the new team combat uniform? Yeah, yeah. no, you're absolutely right. They have like, it's they have like, peach month for yeah. the Hawks. Get your peach Hawks Yeah, jersey. they do. They change like all the different colors. Every two years, it's a new manufacturer for most uniforms. Same shit with the NFL. They fuck with the collar a little bit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, the uh, as far as... Like the Iverson like era, yeah. I'll always go back to. It was like it was baggy at that point. The outfits were baggy. <laughs> yeah, the outfits now are like form. Like it's ridiculous. It looks like it would not with the material that jerseys are. It would not be comfortable to wear a tight t shirt to play basketball. My homeboy um, Michael Roof, R.I.P. He used to do this great joke about how. NBA uniforms got baggier because once black people got in the league. Yeah, the dicks were coming out of the bottom, yeah. yeah. <laughs> insane, freaking insane. Um, yeah, the, the I shorts. believe that's the reason. As short as they got at one point, I mean, Larry Bird definitely wore a length of short that a black dick would fall out of the side of, without a doubt. It also looks like you can comfortably swim for speed in. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Which yeah. is the most impressive thing about Bill Russell winning, what, nine yeah. out of 11 years? Yeah. Tiny he short? did that all with his dick tucked in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he really he was in the dick tuck era. Like, you're a seven foot black dude. Yeah. I don't know where you put, where do you put all that meat? I, where am you I going to hide it? this? You think he hot dogged it into his butt cheeks? Well, good news <laughs> for you, Mr. Russell. I've got the new cock sock. That's right. I can hide it right along your waistband. Do you I mean, I, I mean, Magic Johnson's dick very well could have come past those shorts. Those shorts are not only short shorts, but they're also high waisted. So his dick is so close to where those Shorts yeah. are coming up to. You're changing. You're saying there's ocean level rising. If I had seven foot meat and I had to wear short set short, I would just like coil my shit like soft serve ice cream. <laughs> like, well, I don't like want a pig's tail. Yeah, <laughs> a little, a little doily. Like, you lay it around. Yeah. You go. Uh oh, you woke the snake. <laughs> 
You go, oh my god, yeah, he's got a coil it. <laughs> he's got a coiler. Meanwhile, someone, yeah, the white guys are like, I'm comfortable. I'm very comfortable. Yeah, this is nice. I'll tell you this, if they got the AC on inside, it just where everything works out. I'm Do you think maybe balls. if they wore a cup, like, a black guy would have, like, put his head in and then just start, like, filling in the cup with dick. Like, just fucking, like... <laughs> yeah, stuffing it like a long vacation in a suitcase. Keep, like, keep, uh, ah. keep, keep oh. flattening it out like you're putting peanut butter in a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Uh, in high school, when I played baseball, we would have, like, some days we would practice at the school. But we were like, you know how you get that activity period before school lets mm-hmm. out? So I would act like I needed to go to the restroom or do some shit just so I could walk the halls of the school with a cup. Okay. In the hopes that some of the girls would just see that meat bump and think that I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, hey, um, Ashley, I was actually in passing period. I saw Roy Wood. Just and pelvis I think just he has a giant dick. Yeah, I'm walking pelvis first down the hall. Yeah, you're going. You're going size queen hunting. Yeah. Did we you're just walking around like, hello, everybody. Did we have this conversation here about the jock strap where I said I, why I hated them? I didn't understand how it worked because the the cup went into the strap. Yeah, an old pocket. Yeah, which makes it flat, and then it makes it flat on one side. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, I was like, I never said it was. It, it just like. It just rested on top of my dick. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I guess my dick wasn't big and heavy enough to like push the material in. Because my dick was never in the cup. There was just a break cup on through. It was like a cup with a flat wall of material behind it. And then my dick. I look like a. You ever see when they have pictures like fat like porn girls and they wear like tiny panties and you just see like pussy on either side of the panties still? <laughs> That's how it felt like. It felt like BBW porn. <laughs> you need that space though. It's not like a bulletproof vest. You don't need that shit right up against your meat. You need, you need that buff. You ever been hitting a dick while wearing a cup? That shit is. Like, no. Does it rattle you? I feel like it just sends it's the like shockwave. A, it's a shockwave. Yeah. So I, you need that space to catch some so of that shockwave. You absorb, yeah, you got to absorb some of it. I haven't so, been so, so, it was like a graze, but it was close enough. Yeah, but still, any kind of trauma is still trauma. Oh, yeah. A, a cup shot? A cup shot. Do you think they still they wear cups? They have to. Yeah. I, I wonder if they're all advanced now and they break in a little. I bet it's a different thing at this point. You got to wear the, the good shit, though. You got to wear the one, the long cup that looks like a fucking lacrosse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever that yeah. highlight, whatever that game, where it curves underneath. Yeah. Because like yeah. you need to cover the nuts. I took a ground ball. And it went straight up. Oh, into the tank? Yeah. Like, but, and it hit, it got all ball. I had oh. cup on, but it was one of those, my first cup, my mama, this cup just as good as that one. I ain't buying yeah. that expensive shit. And it got, took it one right in the tank. Yeah. I wonder if you could do it. Like, can we make our own line of cups, but you have to like, uh, it's like the mouthpieces. You have to boil them and then smold them to your <laughs> dick. <laughs> you go like this, you go, it's ready. Hold on. It's warming. It's warming. I'm going to bite down <laughs> and I'm ready to go. Yeah. The, the, the long, the long one, that's the way to go because you can't get rattled under. Correct. And you can be like, the best part is I'm pooping at the same time. I don't think they do it in the NBA because everybody always doubles over anytime they get remotely brushed uh, against the balls. Or or even yeah. grazed on their chest, like oh, yeah. oh, they're the new floppers. That's the second European thing to come over. Flopping. Oh, that's so. This is the shock doctor supporter. I bet you there's a video. There's a video. Was it Jackass where they were taking? They went to a batting cage and they took baseballs yeah. off the dick. It was oh, like it was the, they wore a cup and were just taking fastballs on a batting cage. Yeah, yeah, right to the dick. That's- Hi, I'm Dan Soder. This is Little League. It'd be fucking fuck all that. I they've done so much nut stuff on that. Yeah, show. it's. Uh, I read an article where they said Johnny Knoxville has to have like this surgery to clear. No, his he has. Uh, he's he puts a cath. I mean, I don't know if he still does, but yeah. for, for years he said, and, and moving forward, he had to uh, he had to give himself a catheter every day to keep his dick hole open because he like crushed it when they. Flipped over that, um. Yeah, the golf cart. They flipped over the golf in the cart. Movie, like, I know. Crushed something in his dick. Oh. He has to open his dick hole every day. So, like it. a fucking ear piercing that was just gonna grow yeah. shut. Yeah, every day your dick hole grows <laughs> shut. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. oh man. <laughs> yeah, I swear, I think if I was in the hospital, like, I, I, I hope the only time in my life I need a catheter is something where it's, there's something else so serious going on. That like I, I don't even you, think I've about. Had one. No, I know, but I'm saying I want it to be that though, where it's like I got shot eleven times, then they got to put a catheter, and you don't even care about the catheter anymore. Because mm-hmm. if it was anything where it's like, ooh, it's like you, uh, you might need a. Uh, we you gonna do it for money? You might need gallbladder surgery, so uh, let's come in. We're gonna put a catheter in you. I'd be like, I'd rather just die. Yeah. 
it, 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 it amazes me that none of those guys have, and God bless them, no, like, no, that I know of any pain pill addiction or any, it's like. Jackass guys? Yeah. Oh no, what you call it's gonna Steve-o? rehab a bunch. Well, Steve-O went to rehab mm-hmm. and got his shit together, but he For was. For pain pills or was it alcohol, drug? I mean, it, I guess it's all. All self medication, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then what you call it, um, Bam Margera's had like notable like drug problems. Right, I, think. I mean, when you're yeah, your whole thing's like jumping off a roof. That's not ravage a ravage your body. Like that's Johnny not a long Knoxville. Game. Johnny Knoxville doesn't seem to, and he's done a lot of most of the painful shit for yeah. sure. He jumps in on. God damn. Dude. I yeah. I mean, watching that show, I was a f- so, I love that show and the movies. I love all those guys. CKY two K. All yeah. those videos. I fucking love that. And you don't realize that they are taking backyard wrestling like abuse. Yeah, to- they used to- Two of the funniest scenes in any film I've ever laughed at in a theater. Number one, when Borat brought the turd into the socialite dinner <laughs> in Birmingham because he didn't want to shit in their toilet. Yeah. And number two, in the first jackass, when they took a shit in a display toilet yeah, in yeah. a hardware store. He yeah. just sat there yeah, and took a shit. And I don't know how they mic'd it, <laughs> but you could hear that fucking splatter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it was a bad, and they they actually had to go back to the hardware store because he had to go so bad. At first, he shit his pants. Then they had to wait for him to shit again, and then go back to the store. So but he the shit second himself. take. Yeah, he shit his pants on the first take. In but the, the guy that had to clean that up, the fucking worker that worked there, but he didn't. Yeah, they go back in and tell you they're making a movie, and what if they didn't? Whatever they have to. And yeah. this guy's just like, oh man, it's my second day. It's my second day. <laughs> Evil hardware. <laughs> the clean display. Same thing with the impractical jokers thing. It was that same vibe where where it's like, oh, how fast do you go up and tell someone you're joking before yeah. they walk away just hating your guts? Yeah, like, oh, thanks for shitting. Thanks for shitting in my display toilet. I don't have the guts for it anymore. I used to, and granted, I was only doing prank phone calls, which is a lot. Mm-hmm. The degree of difficulty is a lot lower. Well, sure. it's, and it's it's like uh, it's basically the reason that there's so many trolls on Twitter because it's anonymity. It's like it's yeah. prank phone calling. It's yeah, prank phone calling. Yeah, that's all Twitter trolls are. Like it's like level you're... one asshole. Like yeah, it's very <laughs> yeah, easy. it's white belt. But, it's white belt yeah. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you come in, you come in, and you're like, if you're gonna be an asshole, prank GT phone call. Yeah, that's number one. <laughs> Joining us in studio, Matt Ruby. What's up, dude? Sit right there. We're just hanging out. Roy Wood Jr. Roy Wood Jr. Going to be at Cluster. Fest, along with Big J Okerson and I, this weekend, go to clusterfest.com for badges, and you can get Matt Ruby's debut stand-up album, Hot Flashes, on iTunes and Spotify. Live shows, go to mattrubycomedy.com, and follow him on Twitter, at Matt Ruby. Uh, we're talking about prank phone calling is level one of assholes, and then it moves. Now, I want to keep it nut stories. When's the, when's the first time you got hit in the nuts? Like, what's the most memorable nut smash? Oof. My most again. memorable nut smash. Yeah, first grade on the playground. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Like, yeah, just a level of pain that you never felt before. <laughs> really? Because I feel like your first grade nuts don't have all the nerve endings yet. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah? He had, uh, Ruby was ahead of the curve in nut development. <laughs> yeah, they go, Mrs. Up. Ruby, your son's nuts are incredible. I, see, I don't know if it's the hormones in the food, level. but my nuts were adult. I, my first grade. Even now, I do have uh, big balls. Small what? dick, but big balls. Really? And I don't understand why that doesn't get more credit. How was that? Did like, you like, wear like, a... we came, All this attention to the tap, but not to the keg. Like, yeah. What's going on here? You know? Did you Did you wear a cup? <laughs> Ever? <laughs> no. You've never worn a cup? Uh, maybe like once when I played baseball in Little League or something. How did that, like that sit on your nut, large nuts, tiny dick? Well, then I was tiny, so I just think they have, you know, it's like adult sized cups, and then did I've never like, been a grown up so wearing you a were, cup. You were like a kid wearing his dad's hat? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. feel like a big nuts and a cup would look like a, like a, like an 80 year old wearing a doctor's mask. Just like the, <laughs> yeah. the baggy nuts falling out of the side <laughs> of the fucking cup. <laughs> if your balls are that big, though, you gotta go single file. If you're going in a cup. Oh, you want to you want to line them up? Yeah, you can't go side by side. Oh, you do the three stooges coming in the door, the hello, <laughs> hello, hello. I've seen it more like a chivalry thing where each ball is like, after you. No, after you. <laughs> I would think it would stack up like when someone's trying to paint a fruit bowl. And it's like yeah. one on top of the other, but it's kind of... <laughs> it's a diamond of, of uh, Fiji apples. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, I, I closed my legs while a chick... Like, I, I don't want to say she was riding me, but it was more like that... Vertical bang action sure. where she's coming down, oh, down, yeah. down, and you need your legs slightly spread. Yeah, you so gotta that your nuts can drop down yeah, into yeah, the crack. Yeah. Your nuts gotta hit the yeah. uh, the, the mattress. That's nature. Yeah. That's nature's fighting position. <laughs> you learn how to protect your gullet. My shits was too close, oh. and she came out. Oh. oh. 
that's just fucking. Oh, you're... she Gallaghered them. She fucking came down with the sledgematic. She put a tarp. She put a tarp to... down first yeah. and everything. Are you ready to see me smash the balls? <laughs> Who wants to see me smash the balls? Bluey. I was over there bouncing on Roy's dick, and I thought, time to smash some balls. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh the writing always gets real difficult. Women can go back too far or smash your balls. There's a lot. Yeah. My fear uh is always an aggressive ride and the girl's gonna come up too high and then we're not gonna line up oh, pop on out. that drop down and then just a that fucking bend. Uh, just a, a dick break. I've Ooh, I've heard of those boy. stories, man. What's yeah. Six months you're out of commission? No I mean, fucking Yeah, but I think <laughs> mentally you're gone for eighteen. You sound like the, 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 the commissioner is suspending you. Or <laughs> Give me your dick. You're the off the force. The Roger Goodell of fucking is like, no, no, six months for that. Oh, uh, we have to it's protocol, you gotta sit out. <laughs> How you, what was your memorable one? Of my Nuts dick kick, uh, I got caught uh, cheating Ooh. like 12 years ago. Oh, that's an adult dick kick for a cheat. Yeah, and I was, uh, it was morning time. I've never been dick kicked. It was morning time, and kick might even be the wrong word. It was morning time, I was sitting in a chair. Reading your morning newspaper? <laughs> no, in this is a good picture to paint. Basketball shorts, no underwear. That's mm. little to no protection. Woke up, it was warm. Nothing was cold, so, so hanging, nuts were everything. hanging heavy. Mm-hmm. And on this chair, I, I sit, this chair, I would sit and smoke like a cigarette or something out my like balcony window. Mm-hmm. I'd sit in this chair, and it was just a very like legs open chair. And uh, nuts were just like, I mean, just splayed out, was looking like, you like te- silly you putty. Him up for her, like silly putty. And she was yelling. She came and she was yelling at me, and she took two shots to the head. Okay, and as I'm covering. Just a front stomp foot down? stomp on my and I oh, was just that's ooh. some UFC yeah. fucking hit stomp shit. That's yeah. also some women protection school in a mini mall where it's like no no stop yeah <laughs> no, no, I had, no stop. I mean I deserved it. I certainly no. deserved it, but it was I mean it was a oof, that one hurt. Yeah, I mean that did you curl up? Because a lot of times I'd say what a nut shot is just like. It's you see it. In, they again, like in sports, they always kind of take the full time to like you know because everybody wants to get their breath back and recover and whatever. Yeah. But a lot of times, like I feel like you could sometimes get a flush shot to the nuts and get nothing. And then sometimes I'll go throw my arms up and as I drop my hand down, just like Barely. like just like pinky knuckle graze it, and you're like, oh, you get that that. You know, like, oh, my pancreas is crumbling up. That's the one. That's the one where you take a hard nut shot and it goes up into your stomach. I fell off a tree when I was a kid right onto, like, a fucking bar. Uh, and I was like, uh, oh, and it just made that noise. I was like, I don't know I And it just laid there, and it fell all the way up into my chest. Where I was like, well, I was just speaking a language that only twins speak to each other. And it was David Lynch shit. I was like, no, 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 Hands off. Uh, we have Mike in Canada wants to tell his nutshot story. A Canadian nutshot story. It's going to be good. Let me tell you, it hurts, bud. I got hockey <laughs> hair. I've been rocking hockey hair for about I two weeks I took a now. hockey puck at 80 miles <laughs> an hour. Have you ever been kicked by a moose in your dick? <laughs> oh, a hockey puck right in the five hole? They that does not sound good. <laughs> uh, Mike, when, when it, how old were you when it happened? Believe it or not, it is hockey. But, uh, <laughs> of course it is. Of course what it is. A great opening, we do believe it. You want an opening great? <laughs> I was. Statement. I had. I didn't have my mind in the game. I had it on some poutine. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the third line. Um, what happened? No, so I, was, I was 12 years old in junior high. We used to play uh, floor hockey against the teachers uh, every Friday after school or whatever the case is. Took an absolute slap shot from one of the teachers right to the right to the berries there. Oh, how old, were, how old were you? Because that's always funny when an adult asserts their, their <laughs> power over you. I had that a lot growing up. The just the older person would always just assert their power at one point. Yeah. Like, All right, it's a shock that's, move. Uh, I was 12, 12 years old at the time. And how old was the teacher? Like in his twenties? No, I would guess the older teacher, probably in his forties. He comes home. He goes, oh, "That's a solid shot." He goes, "Deborah." Today, I, uh, I uncorked on a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just lines it up. You know when people are really good at roller hockey? Oh, honey, could... you didn't put the torque on it, did you? He goes, no, I bet the wrists. <laughs> he goes, it was a wrist shot. I Joe Sackett in his balls. <laughs> but do you remember, like, when people are good at street hockey, uh, they could, like, curve the ball up? Like, they had, like, an amount of control with uh-huh. it. Could pick when... the ball up with the stick. Yeah, like, do that kind of shit, like the cowboy in Mighty Ducks 2. <laughs> That's what I'm just picturing his teacher doing. He's like, oh, yeah? Here comes one for go. He's like, oh, oh my how bad were you? How bad were you laid out for? 
I was laid out pretty good. I was 12 years old, so I kind of let it ride for a couple of days. I'm like, okay, this is getting uh, getting quite sore, starting to swell up on it. I'm just like, oh, okay, it's just swollen. Took, took a nice shot. I got to a point where I couldn't walk anymore. I had two uh, grapefruits between my legs there. And wow. I finally, finally, went, finally went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, hey, look, I'm going to level with you. The chance of you of losing one of your nuts here is uh, pretty high. I mean, your teacher, in and your they, teacher's still working. This turned into a dramatic yeah. story. Yeah. He goes, we're gonna. Yeah, it uh, took a turn for the worst. But what had happened was one of the nuts got actually tur- turned around, <gasps> and twisted up, and the blood was was uh, stopping from getting to my nut. Oh boy, a lot of grimacing going on over here. Oh yeah, I, I feel so sorry, sorry, bro. He goes, so I go home and tell my mom she's fucking that teacher. He goes, and he goes, now my balls are in your house. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, long story short, they cut me open, twisted it around, tacked her down. And I still got the nuts. So All right, yeah. You're a survivor. You're a go get her. You're a survivor. Keep on surviving. Keep on coming. Now, um, isn't that how Carlton Fisk lost lost the ball? Home plate, home plate collision. Really? Is that the story? I've heard Carlton Fisk, Hall of Fame catcher, lost the ball because of a home plate collision, collision at home plate. That's and it got turned around. Wait, Mike, wow. you can you still uh, you still <laughs> blow big sticky loads? Oh, big time. Six ropers. Oh, oh maybe it made you like rookie of the year where you're more powerful now. Because <laughs> you broke your balls. Was, my, one of my balls is bionic. He goes, I can shoot cum 100 yards. Well, good for you, Mike. Uh, he goes, I got this ball from Skynet. You think that's going to be a problem ever? <laughs> the doctor, when he sees he goes, uh, good news. No, I actually figured uh, we could... Uh, to reverse it, we're going to have to kick in the balls. <laughs> Starts laughing to himself. That's not the diagnosis. Oh, trying to unwind those boys by kicking them the other way. Yeah. Have you ever played tetherball? That's what we're going to have to do with your ball. Uh, we got to take our last break. Roy Wood Jr. hanging out with us. It's going to be a cluster fest in San Francisco this weekend. Saturday, June 3rd and Sunday, June 4th. Make sure you go to clusterfest.com to get your badges and check out the show times. Uh, we'll be up there together, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And, of course, Matt Ruby's debut stand-up album, Hot Flash. Flashes, available on iTunes and Spotify. For live shows, visit MattRubyComedy.com. That's M-A-T-T-R-U-B-Y, Comedy.com. And follow Matt on Twitter, at Matt Ruby. Um, we'll be right back. Take our last break. It's the bonfire, y'all. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Some nutshot stories from the bonfire. In tribute to Greg Allman. In tribute to Greg Allman and the birthday of racist Clint Eastwood. And regular Clint Eastwood. I don't like you guys talking about damn berries and twigs. Comedy Central Radio Series XM hey. 95. Bunch of goddamn ingrates. <laughs> talking about your dicks. You pussies. You Why don't you goddamn wetbacks make your own wall. Goddamn it. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. These Polacks come in. Smell like burnt sausage. I'll tell you what happens. It's all these nut guzzlers down in Chelsea raising up all the prices. And I'll tell you this. These dirty Irish are in Queens living under the train like some kind of red-haired troll. Yeah. These fucking ham faces. God damn it. Hate their freckles. <laughs> Happy birthday, racist. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, racist. Please. In the studio, uh, Roy Wood, who's going to, Roy Wood Jr., going to be at Cluster Fest San Francisco this weekend. Okay. That's the third and the fourth. Go yes. to visit clusterfest.com for badges and showtime and then go get Matt Ruby's debut stand-up album Hot Flashes on iTunes and Spotify live shows go visit mattrubycomedy.com yes uh, uh, you guys are official of the first bonfire nut panel yeah uh, in the interest of time here we have an Alex from Florida and an Alex from Virginia I'm going to say you guys tell your nut stories the same exact time starting right now uh, so uh, I'm stealing out a, uh, a lawn mowing job for a guy up at a farmhouse. <laughs> two guys, both of us on zero term mowers, and I'm, uh, I'm edging out this brick patio. The guy turns his lawn mower right as I'm going down the brick patio edge. I have about a softball size piece of brick. I want to hear the southern. I got to hear the guy. Which one you want to pick? Which one you pick? Lawnmower. I got to hear lawnmower first. All right. Who's the lawnmower story? Is that Virginia or Florida? That's Virginia, baby. Get off the line, other Alex. Whoa, hey, Alex, hey, we're gonna put you back. Hey, Alex, we're gonna put you back on hole. You don't need to verbally kick Hold him on, in the nuts, there, Florida. Virginia, You've Alex, got all kinds of balls. Yeah, oh. Virginia, Alex is going hard. He's like, I ride a goddamn lawnmower. I shoot bricks into men's dicks. So, so a got, guy right. on a lawnmower runs over a rock. The rock shoots from underneath the lawnmower. Boom, nut shot. Is that, that he said a brick? Alex, you there? Yeah, here, buddy. Is that your? Was it your nuts, or did you shoot the brick into another man's nuts? 
Man, luckily, I slow motion launched some brick into another dude's nuts. If that was me, I don't know that I'd be riding a lawnmower anymore. Do you know where said gentleman is? Is said gentleman oh, a yeah. gentleman anymore? Uh, he said that they uh, they doubled in size for a couple of days. A little rough walking after that, but uh, I think he's okay. All right. I mean, I I've never had about his loads or anything. I couldn't tell you about that, but. Well, hang a little yeah, I mean, you hit a guy in the nuts with a brick, you ask about his loads a week later. That's yeah. just basic that's courtesy, just, yeah. but I don't, I'm not just, telling you how to live. You're Virginia, you're a southern gent. Yeah, <laughs> apparently you guys got a different set of rules in, you, in the southern block. Because us, us Yankees, we ask how our loads are. <laughs> Up here, I'll be like, Dan, how are your loads lately? I'm going to go, pretty thick. The other guy was a six roper, he said. Um, you know what's great, too, about being on a riding mower and shooting a brick at someone's dick is like, when he looks over at you, it's not even like just two hard-working guys that have to deal with that. You're just sitting on a thing like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he goes, oh, he goes, yeah, you got your arm over the over the back part. You're like, oh, boy. This is a riding lawnmower, so Damn. I'm really doing nothing That right was probably there. 440 horsepower chucking that brick at your dick. <laughs> That's modern engineering. I would weed whack his face if you hit me oh, with a... A brick in the nuts? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you weed whack the face is a death sentence, I think. Yeah, it's a, if it's a third of a size of a regular brick, if we're talking like a third of a brick, yeah. depending on how high the grass is he's cutting, you're supposed to be watching where you cut. Were you, you cut. Were you doing, hold on, let me ask him real quick. Alex, were you doing the edges, as they say? Yeah, yeah, I was edging out this house, ah, going that's along the That's where the danger is. Yeah, it got him. It got him good. Uh, Isn't edging when like a girl in- just works your helmet and then you almost come and then she stops? Isn't that what edging is? No, that's... Well, yeah, in sexual terms, but in lawn care, it but means chewing the edges. If I would, if I, uh. Chewing the edges in lawn care still sounds sexual. But right? yeah, if I knocked on a girl, if I knocked on a lady's door in the suburbs somewhere, and I was like, do you want me to do some edging while I'm here? And, uh, <laughs> I don't think she means jerk off to the point of Should coming. I not just bend her over and aggressively lick her? <laughs> lick her? <laughs> yeah. Should I, should I make small circles around her clit until hey, she man. almost comes? Hey, Mrs. You want me to do some edging? <laughs> I'm almost gonna come. I'm back now. Hey, I'll shovel your walk. Do you want me to do some edging while I'm here? <laughs> did you, Alex? How well did you know the guy? Did you know him at all? Uh, man, I worked with him for about six months, but I was laughing so hard there really wasn't much time for apology. I would hate you with so much energy for a oh, year. Man, it wasn't if, my nuts, hell. Yeah, I know, but just some guy laughing in a riding mower where you're like. <laughs> I do hate that like, too. I tell you, I got no, I got into a, a shower. My ex girlfriend, when I was nineteen, she was seventeen or eighteen. Or no, yeah. I, no, I'm sorry. I think maybe at this point I was like twenty one or something. She was like nineteen. But we, uh, she was in the shower. Somebody get in the shower with her, which I hate doing. I hate being naked in front of anybody, like yeah. butt naked, especially in a vulnerable shower, which is never that sexy. The lights cold. on. One of you is always in the cold. Yeah. yeah, and I get in. And you're wet. I get in the shower, immediately slip on the shower floor, Ooh. backward. My, my body slides, you know, like out from under me, <laughs> and my head cracks the, oh, the thing ceramic, me. And I'm in yeah. pain. Now I'm fat and balled up, which is all lumpy and rolly and gross yeah. in a thing. And she's just sitting there naked and cute and like, like laughing at me and just, I mean it's literally become but you will just start at that point a game ending fucking fight and when that happens you still know what to do because like, she's kind of laughing go is that fucking funny but of course it was hilarious yeah. you invite a fat guy into the shower and he fucking does exactly what you think <laughs> she'll play a slide whistle when I went down <laughs> But then your 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 pride hurts. So at that angle, you're like, your pussy looks weird at this angle. Yeah, and she's all what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe I'm looking at it and falling to your giant pussy. Yeah. Just, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh my god, you fell! <laughs> you fell, Jay. You splash. You splashied. Um, and the should we let Alex get yeah. the other yeah, Alex get his Florida. story? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Alex, thank you. Uh, Alex in Florida, your nutshot story, then we got a wrap. Jesus, this went fast again. All right, well, I got two. I have one of a bathtub, and I have another one on the dirt bike. I think dirt, dirt bike. bike. Yeah, good choice, Roy. Okay. So I was real little. I, was, I think I was like eight at this point, and my brother had built a ramp for our dirt bike, and he convinced me that I was going to be able to do it. Oh, boy. And so Big I was, air. Yeah, yeah. I, I think all of us have had something bad happen with a fucking bike ramp. Ramps, and, ramps and balls do not go well together. Uh, you come off that bike and you're like, I'm not landing on the seat, am I? <laughs> it's only like maybe half a foot off the ground. Oh. He told me all I have to do is stand up. And so I went off the ramp and I stood up. When I came down, I broke through the plastic cover in the back wheel. Oh. And I landed on the wheel. Oh! 
my nuts went in between oh! and like the swing arm and it just like rode for a couple feet and then fell over. No. It started like chewing up your balls? Like Yeah. Isn't that the way like that the Superman's trend, dad's trend. hands got <laughs> caught in the farming <laughs> fucking <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's like getting your arm stuck in an elevator that starts going. <laughs> Dude, that noise, though, like... <laughs> and it's like by, <laughs> also, by the way, just the idea, though, of being dragged a few feet by your nut skin. <laughs> yeah. Is that your new thing now, Adam? Oh. Do you have to have a woman grab your sack and drag you around? <laughs> <a little bit? laughs> it just stretches like gum. And he's like, go, 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 go. Oh, it's so hot. Yes. They could, now they call me Taffy Nuts, brah. He goes, how yeah. Severe, how severe was the injury? Did you go to the hospital or you just walked that shit off like a G? Thanks, Roy, for remembering this somebody on the phone. We always just, just we just start going off into our own yeah. thing. <laughs> we trail off like two old men. You want to work on the show? You want to be third by front of the show? You're just dizzy? No, I said I didn't want my brother to think I was a little pussy, so I just got up and I went inside. And so, then you had to check, and then ironically you had to check to make sure you didn't have a pussy yeah. at that point. Yeah. He goes, they go, Adam, you all right? He goes, I ain't, I ain't a pussy. I gotta go inside real quick. Yeah. Cause something's, <laughs> something's wrapped around my ankle and I'm pretty sure it's my manhood. Yeah. It's like my ball skin's on my butt cheeks. No, hey, real quick though, can you check the back of your dirt bike license plate for my sack? <laughs> Cause I think it just got ripped off through my fucking suit. Yeah. Uh, I think I lost my sack between your shots. Shocks and, yeah. and swing arm. I tell you this right now. Check those shocks because uh, they're broken because my nuts are wedged in there. Yeah, that's and there was no major damage. You were all right the next day. Uh, they were black and blue for a while. The the sack was, but I'm good. Did you have to wear sunglasses over them so nobody asked you questions about home? <laughs> 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 Just wearing a giant onesie snowsuit. <laughs> what happened in the shower? What happened in the bathtub, Alex? Was it a more okay. violent nut shot? I, I was younger. At this point, and I was taking a bath in my mom's room, and she had a sliding glass door on the bathtub, and it has that little metal piece that... I know exactly oh, the track. Yeah. I know what you mean. The well, track. I like yeah. it be, these stories as you hear the word and you know where it's uh, going. You know yeah, who the enemy like, is. Yeah, it's like oh geez, here's the foreshadowing. All right. Yeah. I stepped out, and I guess they had just taken up all the dirty rugs. So it was just, I, oh, dude, I do fucking. I I went ahead in my mind, like in the uh, in the fucking what is it, Final Destination, where I saw it happen in yeah. my mind. Where I was like, you're gonna slip, and your nuts are gonna go right in that goddamn metal casing. Yeah. But always remember, you have to let it happen, or death will come for you. I don't want my nuts in the metal well, casing. So what happened? That leg slipped out, and I just went straight down. Onto you did a split. Back. You yeah. Van Dammed it. Yeah. You of all people should know I never get out of the shower until I have fucking on. <laughs> I should have worn my black silk underwear. I should wear black silk underwear. Come on, guys. Um, so you scissored, uh, <laughs> with, your, with your grandma's shower. <laughs> Jesus, man, your nuts have been worked over. Yeah, you got yeah. old pirate nuts. And it was, a, it was another thing. My brother was home. He was the only one home. And I didn't want him to think I was another pussy. <laughs> Jesus, I, man. I just give in to your brother. Just he be a pussy. You. Just be a pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Right? It's Stop fine. Stop letting it's the men fine. in your life bully you, you so much. You are putting your balls in a dangerous situation for your brother's affection. <laughs> he goes, anyway, my knee got knocked backwards, but I just walked home because I don't want to be called a pussy by my mom. Yeah, I got robbed. Stabbed right in the fucking throat. Didn't say nothing. <laughs> didn't say a word. Just went what? home, put some fucking put some duct tape over it. Burnt it shut. Uh, you know why? Because you're a big, fat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, thanks for the call. we got to wrap this thing up. I'll tell you what. I do like, Matt, you have a great point. The foreshadowing things are always so... F <laughs> yeah, as soon as you we're hear doing, that word. Everyone <laughs> stories. The phone calls always come and goes, uh, you know those treads they say you can't back up over, <laughs> yeah. but you can only go over the one way? You're like, no! Yeah. Like, oh, have, you, have you ever seen an old bear track snap <laughs> shut? Yeah. Yeah. I was running you know those cops. You know how they have the tire spikes that they <laughs> slide <laughs> I was going to say, he goes, you guys know in Mad Max when they have the cinder block <laughs> on the baseball bat. Are you guys familiar familiar with a stalactite? Is <laughs> 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 it always so like a fire? Like, oh no! So you guys know the uh, Great Oregon Mountain Spider, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, they say it's the kiss from the devil. <laughs> uh, Matt Ruby. His debut stand-up album, Hot Flashes, is going to be available, or is now available on iTunes and Spotify. For live shows, visit MattRubyComedy.com. That's M-A-T-T-R-U-B-Y, Comedy.com. And follow Matt on Twitter, at Matt Ruby. Thank uh, thanks you, Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Always. And, of course, Roy Wood returning. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, buddy. Good time. Uh, Roy's going to be at Clusterfest in San Francisco this weekend. We'll all be hanging out together there. 
uh, Saturday, June 3rd, and Sunday, June 4th. Visit Clusterfest.com for badges and showtimes. Go check out Roy. He's absolutely fucking hilarious. Uh, check out our taping of the bonfire at Clusterfest uh, this Sunday, June 4th. Uh, San Francisco again. Visit Clusterfest.com. Make sure you get your badges. And, of course, Dan. Well, yeah. Oh! Dan's going to be at the Tacoma Comedy Club in Tacoma, Washington oh. State. Thursday, June 8th through Saturday, June 10th. Get your tickets to DanSoda.com and get them quick. They're going to sell out because... And then if you're near the Seneca Casino, get ready, Niagara Falls. Why, Lou? Oh. Jay Elkerson going to be at the Seneca Casino in Niagara Falls with Nick DiPaolo tomorrow night. That's June 1st. Also going to be headlining the Hollywood Improv on Tuesday, June 6th. So go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And, of course, follow us at The Bonfire, SXM, on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Uh, it was Boy, Wood Jr., Matt Ruby, thank you thank guys you. so much. And Thanks, thank you for all of you who called in about your balls. We'll see you guys next Monday. Have a good weekend. We'll see you in San Francisco. San Francisco. Practical.